Hello everybody and welcome once again to Forever Stranded. This is going to be my last episode of Forever Stranded, at least for this particular version of the game. And we're going to go and have a look at a planet. Well, it's actually a planet I sort of made. Because um, I want to go and have a look at the biomes on this planet. Because I picked, I made all the biomes that exist in for Advanced Rocketry. So, <clears throat> let's get on and do that. Now, I'm actually going to use this rocket. I did, when I was doing this, I, my first time round, I actually built a rocket on the space station, but when I built the rocket on the space station, I could not choose the landing pad. So actually now I need to change this, actually because it's in the wrong place. Let's just do that first of all. Um, in my back here, I should have a space station two chip. I don't know where the other one's gone to. Let's get this out of here. Like that. And then we can then choose the destination. Which will select pad one. Actually, I can't do it either. That's strange. Never mind. We should land on the, on the space station quite well. And we'll also change the, the clothing, so to speak. And we'll put the stuff away in the bag here. And I'll put the bag out. Also, I'll put the bag away, in fact, because I don't need it for the time. Oops, I did forgot to put the, the chip away, didn't I? Let's put the chip away as well. And let's put the bag away. Wrong place again. Try again. Third time lucky. Right. So off we go. So in this planet we're going to go and visit. Well, first of all, I'll tell you where the other alien forest planets are. There, there's three in our existing solar system or Sol. So you've got 17 planet 17, Moon number one. We went to that last time, and then we've got Sol 21, Moon zero, and Sol 11, Moon zero. Then on Wolf we've got uh, Sol 28, Moon one, and Epsilon arrow we'd already seen because that was on um, Sol 40, no moons. So, actually this is strange. This is actually landed in the wrong place and I'm not sure why. Well, I say the wrong place, in the place that it shouldn't be landing on. So I better fill it up with fuel. If it's not got enough in it, which it won't have, of course, let's have a look. Um, I have to get my bag out advanced rocketry and I want a tank out of here with some fuel in it, it doesn't matter which take any tank we like and we can come over here and get some fuel simply right click this and the moment it's empty right click the tank here now it should have 8 buckets in there or 8000 milli buckets and we'll fill up this rocket Let me just check how full it is, half full. So there we are, let's one click on there and then check it again. And now it's full. One bucket was enough to fill it up. So let's now go downstairs. And where we're going to go to is Wolf 12. Select a planet. We need to get up to pick slow the system. So we're going to go to Wolf 12, select that one. I think I'll double click it. And then we need a uh, Sol 26. And we want to go to the moon on Sol 26 and select that. So there's where we're going to, and it's a it's a cost is 500, which we've got plenty of. So let's just do that warp. So in fact, while we're doing that, let's go upstairs. A little bit of lag there. And get into the rocket. And then we should be there, so let's go straight away. No messing around today. I must admit, I don't understand why I can't land on the moon pads. It can't be because I built another space station. Anyway, I'm not going to worry about it. The developer from um, Advanced Rocketry has been very quiet recently, but he is still around. 
hopefully it's going to be a bit more active and fix any things that are here so we're actually landing now on crystal chasms and in these biomes let's have a look what biomes have we got here we've got a moon biome which has actually got an id of 90. it's actually simply called moon and then we've got alien forests as we've already seen and we've got hot dry biome stormlands biome and there's actually a space biome as well well you see that when you actually there there should be a mega torch here there is yes good so let's have a look so at the moment we're in crystal chasms and as you can see you have a uh, huge chasms with water and ice and squids spawning underneath the ice that's good and lots of ice here and snow what else have we got to we got also you've got marsh and ocean spires and deep swamp biome so this one here is ocean spires as you can see they look quite uh, impressive great big spires of things and this is, again is the crystal crystal chasm biome and here you have these interesting minerals so this is emerald block and this is packed ice well you can actually break, break emerald block to be honest with you have a look I haven't got my pickaxe with me anyway uh, it's in my bag though let's take this one we can actually break an emerald block and that got picked up and actually got put straight into my advanced rocketry bag I think here we go like that and I don't know whether it's got any uses at all let's put this one back actually let's sorry let me just put this fuel tank away back again and I should have filled up the rocket but never mind it'll have enough fuel to get back anyway so that's going to put this way in here and I'm going to put this in here too because I'm not going to need that for the time being and these blocks here these chisel biome blocks they should actually match the color of the um, biome they're in so at the moment it's sort of a bluey type biome we can leave one here so what I was going to have a look at was this one here and have a look at the uses of this one there aren't any no uses for that at all emerald block so so if we look at that you can see here we've got these emerald blocks and there's no uses for it so that's that one and what have we got ocean spires and this one over here will be moon as you can see which we've already seen on the on the our moon as it were and here we're going to have hot dry biome hot dry rock we've also seen this as well and um, the one I didn't tell you about was stormlands and this is stormlands over here and besides stormlands I think we've got marsh and it's uh, in storm excuse me a second in Stormlands you've got these mushrooms here, these electric mushrooms, they've got no uses, except for to go and there's charcoal logs. We can actually check that again anyway, if you can look over it. Here you should see mushrooms, here we go, electric mushrooms, no uses on that one. And charcoal logs you should also see here, we can actually do some facade with those, or we can use it as, as wood. Or charcoal 3000 RF and a steam dynamo so that does have some use what are we on now deep swamp so in deep swamp you get these big trees when I say big I mean massive trees look at that an apple floating around And this particular one's got three but they get cut off at the on the on the borders of the um, biomes like this <coughs> and it's got mobs underneath it of course what I didn't do is make myself a clock let me just quickly make a clock right? because I it's good to know the time we just need one of these no shortage of any minerals so it's just coming up to night time what else have we got here 
Alien Forest, of course, we've already seen that one. This looks like um, ice chasms again. Crystal chasms, I mean. And each one of us has these unusual min uh, minerals. So this should be marsh again, I think, is it? Crystal Chasms going over to Deep Swamp. We should have marsh as well. I'm not sure where marsh is. But none of the, none of the biomes are very far from each other. So I do like these trees. I think they're really cool. Ocean spires. Oh, there's a planet that we're about. Home. That must be Sol 26. The only thing else I, I can say about this is I've had really a lot of fun playing this mod pack. It's been great fun to play. It was really hard at the beginning to survive. But after you got into the other, once you've managed to get past that, not die of heat every five minutes is that I was doing when I started playing this game, I'll be honest. <laughs> what do we got here? Still deep swamp, charcoal forest. I haven't actually seen it in the alien forest yet, so there's plenty around. If we look at the map, for example, we can see them here. Lots of charcoal. What's that over there? It should tell me. Well, I can't see some. Well, that must be alien forest down here, so let's carry on a bit. And you can see these rock these rocks have now changed colour to a greeny colour. These rocks, by the way, are um, from random things, chiseled biome stones. The biome stones are fairly easy. So if you look at the recipe for this, you got one of these biome crystals, it doesn't matter which one, you put it stone around it or bricks. So. Or in my case I put these chiseled biome stones around here, um, chisel chisel stone bricks around there. And you get these type. They change colour according to the biome you're in. So now we're on marsh, this is what marsh looks like. So lots of water, the stones in a sort of sort of patchily pattern around it. What else have we not found yet? We're coming across some more crystal chasms. And none of these min none of these here are just they're probably just decorative blocks. That's wolf and type block. This is Citrine block. All of these have got slightly different names. Not sure what this one is. Ah, it's Wolf and Tite again. The blue one is sapphire blocks. We can't get sapphires. So this must be a ruby type one. Ruby block. How about that? As a guess. 
So anyway, I think that's enough of this. We've seen everything that I think there is to see. So I'm going to just put my dead bed down here and go to sleep because it's night time. Let's put it on here. Can we put it on here? No, we can't put it on that. Let's put it on the snow instead. So, I'm going to say goodbye. And I wish you all the best. So, bye for now. <laughs> Ha 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 